So hi and welcome back to the show. Uh, my name is Gavin McRae and I'm from GJ McRae Foundation Repair. Uh, and this is our new video series where we'll tackle all things basement waterproofing and foundation repair related uh, here in the greater Toronto area. Uh, so we call this series uh, In the Field, uh, where we not only break down the premise of foundation repair, but also uh, show you a complete time-lapse production of a full repair process after this top-down video explanation is complete. Uh, so let's get right into it. Um, so this particular project was a somewhat straightforward one. Uh, the client reached out to us and essentially had an issue with a foundation wall uh, in a garage that was cracking vertically. Uh, so we basically opted to install a strip of carbon fiber uh, to act as sort of a stitch or a reinforcement mechanism uh, for the cracked wall. Uh, and given that the crack was traveling vertically through the poured concrete wall, uh, we installed a four foot uh, by six inch wide strip of carbon fiber uh, across the horizontal axis of that crack. Um, now carbon fiber has an extremely high strength to weight ratio uh, and it's quite commonly used in concrete reinforcement projects. Um, and interestingly enough, this product uh, sort of in the modern uh, day was really developed in the aerospace industry in the early 1960s. Uh, and it was used as a replacement material for aluminum uh, because carbon fiber contains a really unique anti-corrosive property. Uh, so this stuff is pretty strong. Uh, it's, it's very long lasting. Uh, and in this case, it was somewhat uh, straightforward to apply. Um, now the first step in an application uh, like this is really to make sure that the bare uh, foundation wall is clear of debris uh, and in this case the wall was quite clean to begin with uh, but I did use a wire brush to make sure that there was no uh, loose debris left on the wall. Uh, so once that was prepared a special two-part resin is applied to the foundation wall directly and essentially what happens uh, is that two separate uh, materials uh, mix inside of the spout of the epoxy gun uh, and produce a correctly mixtured resin that activates the carbon fiber itself, uh, sort of in a two-part uh, mixture. Uh, now, once this resin is, is fully activated, you need to work pretty quick with this stuff. Um, so a first coat is essentially applied you know, generously to the bare concrete wall. Uh, and really at this point, um, you want to begin to spread that first liquid coat out very thoroughly so that all the areas of the foundation wall uh, where the carbon fiber will be going are, are covered evenly. Uh, next, the carbon fiber uh, itself is applied to the wall, um, but we don't uh, adjust levels of the carbon fiber just yet because a second layer of resin is then applied on top of the carbon fiber strap. And that final layer of resin uh, really needs to be worked into the material very well. Uh, so once the second layer of resin is installed, uh, you get a complete activation of the carbon fibers themselves. Uh, and once you've worked both layers of the resin into the fibers thoroughly, now at this point we can sort of begin to realign or uh, re-level the carbon fiber straps themselves. Um, now once we've completed the final leveling, uh, we're basically done. Uh, carbon fiber does require above freezing temperatures to properly cure, so we make sure that there's always a heat source close by uh, if application occurs uh, sort of during the winter months. So that's basically it. This particular application was uh, sort of one of the simpler uh, carbon fiber installation methods, whereas generally sort of most applications require a carbon fiber connection uh, sort of into a foundation wall um, and up into a sill plate. Uh, but we'll cover that uh, more advanced technique and application in a later episode. Um, so that's the general breakdown of where and why a project like this comes to pass. Uh, so enjoy the, uh, the time-lapse video of the project and uh, thanks again for tuning in. And if you have any questions related to basement waterproofing, foundation repair, or underpinning, uh, give us a call anytime. We can be reached on the web at wetbasements.com. Uh, thanks again uh, for your time, and we'll see you on the next project.